Hello everyone, Dr Poppy here. Welcome back to my pet rescue centre. Did you know that snakes can't chew their food, so they have to swallow it whole? Hi there Sally, let's take a look at what might be the matter with you. Hmm, it looks like Sally might have swallowed something that doesn't belong there. I know that shape, but let me just double check. Robbo, I think we need to have a closer look. Can you take an x-ray please? One x-ray coming right up. An x-ray is a machine that can see through things. We can use it to take pictures of our insides. It's a key! Oh dear Sally, a key definitely doesn't belong in your tummy. Swallowing keys and other objects like this can be very dangerous. It could hurt your tummy and make you very unwell. <laughs> well, now we know what the problem is, how can we remove the key from Sally's tummy? How about a magnet? Magnets are amazing. They have a magnetic force that can attract some types of metals, like iron. Good idea, Robbo. If we put the magnet against Sally's skin, it will pull the key towards it and we can move it along Sally's body and back out of her mouth. Stay calm, Sally. This won't hurt and the key will be out in no time at all. it's out. How do you feel Sally? Great work Robbo. I think Sally's saying thank you. I think it must be my magnetic personality. Here comes Cecil the snake chilling the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear Chili, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chili is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. You just... This coat is made of ice, which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K R A B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh A L spells shell. Hmm. I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. right Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. 
I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Wow! It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! Rudolph is part of Santa's special team of magical reindeer who pull his sleigh around the world on Christmas Eve. Hello, Rudolph. You don't seem to be your usual self today. What seems to be the matter? Are you telling me you can't fly, Rudolph? Hmm, we have to fix that, don't we? So you can deliver all the presents to good girls and boys on Christmas Eve. Maybe, instead of eating that grass, Robbo can make you some magical reindeer food to give you that Christmas spirit again. Some magical reindeer food coming right up. Here we go. Amazing! You look better already, Rudolph. Let's see if you can fly now. Can you take a big leap again? Brilliant, Rudolph! Look at them go! Merry Christmas, Santa! Merry Christmas, Rudolph! Ho, ho, ho! Wow! Thank you for the present, Santa. I'm glad Rudolph is feeling much better. Here comes our first patient, Twinkle the Robin. You can tell a robin by their beautiful red feathers on their front. Sometimes they're called Robin Redbreasts and can be heard singing in your garden on Christmas Day. Twinkle, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> Twinkle, I can't hear you. Have you lost your voice? May I have a quick look at your throat, please? Robins and other types of birds sing as a way of speaking to one another, just like humans do by talking. Yes, Twinkle. It looks like you've got a sore throat. The best treatment for a sore throat is to wrap up warm, rest up and drink plenty of water. Some of Robbo's special cough syrup will help too. A spoonful of cough syrup coming right up. Here you go, Twinkle. Make sure you take a big gulp. It's important to stay warm out there and get as much rest as possible. Would you look at that? She's already feeling much better. Here comes Jake the spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Oh dear, Jake. It looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? That sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs! All spiders have eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest.
Here comes Lucy, the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind Lucy. Sh, A, L spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right Lucy. Fish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Rhinos are enormous. They are covered in thick skin as tough as a suit of armour. And even though they only eat plants, they can grow to the size of a large car. Hello Shaka, what seems to be the problem? Goodness, something is making you very itchy isn't it? Let's have a look and see. Robbo, magnifying glass please. I'm afraid you have little insects called ticks on your skin, Shaka. They are on your back and behind your ears. Mm. I know you can't reach back there to get the ticks, Shaka, but don't worry. I think I know someone who can help. Oh, Lulu! Could you come here, please? Shaka, meet Lulu. She needs to rest while her wing gets better. Lulu, meet Shaka. He could really use your help with a tick problem. Mm. Perfect. I think those two are going to be great friends. When you're the Here's Colin the Chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? <whistles> hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo. Please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin 
has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Fantastic. Here comes Boris the Pufferfish. Puffer fish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm. I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish.